let's have a heart to heart talk. I don't know why, but I felt like hitting you with a little bit of reality. Yes, Pokemon is making people a lot of money. Yes, there are people who became millionaires through Pokemon cards. Yes, people are starting businesses all centered around the Pokemon card hobby. People are making money and there's no denying it. And I can say that I've made some amazing returns on my position in Pokemon. It's actually been one of my better performing assets in my portfolio. It's done better and grown much faster than I would have ever guessed. But why does Pokemon make so much money? If this is your first time here, I'm Kakashi with Kanto Capital, and this is not a hype channel, this is a truth channel. And if you enjoy the video, liking and subscribing, all that good stuff really helps out the channel. I also did start a Patreon if you'd like to help directly, link in the description. But let's just get this out of the way. Why does Pokemon make so much money? How is it possible that you could buy a Japanese screen Pikachu card in PSA 10 for $100 and a year later it's worth $2,000 to $3,000? How do people buy a booster box like Evolutions for $100 and less than a year later it's also worth $1,000? Why is this all possible? How does this even happen? Well here's your answer. Here's the truth. It's because Pokemon, these lovely pieces of cardboard, they are risky investments. Investing and putting money into Pokemon cards is risky, but if you want big returns, sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. The reason Pokemon can produce these stupid, ridiculous, almost cartoon-like returns is because it's out of the box. It's not something that average people do. It's not a normal, accepted path. To get crazy returns, sometimes you have to do something a little bit crazy. Something against the norm, something that most people will disagree with, something that people is going to tell you it's a bad idea. Just like Pokemon and the pioneers in this hobby, how could you put your hard earned money into cardboard pictures of cute little cartoon characters from Japan? Are you crazy? You have to be willing to be that weird person who says, yeah, I invest into trading cards, but not even sports cards because even your grandpa might understand you put money into sports cards. Instead, you tell them, no, not those cards. I like Pikachu. I invest into Pikachu and Charizard. You know Charizard, right? Yeah, I invest into them. The reason people are making so much money in Pokemon is because this hobby is ridiculously young. Pokemon has only existed for 25 years, and that might sound like a long time to some of you, but the reality is that Pokemon is a baby. This hobby is not even a Pichu yet. We're still trying to hatch that Pokemon Go egg. Any of you guys still play Pokemon Go? Comment and let me know if you do. But really, Pokemon is risky. It's a speculative asset. And Pokemon is so young, many people would not even consider it an asset. The reason I can talk about 3x and 10x and 100x returns on investment is because putting money into Pokemon cards is risky. With great risk comes greater reward. Now you and I might believe it's not that risky or that terribly risky or we wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here watching these videos. I wouldn't be here making these videos. We wouldn't be here. And we might think Pokemon will survive and continue to grow and to flourish. But understand that in the traditional sense with how young the hobby is, how small the market size is, Pokemon is considered extremely risky. That is the reality. Putting money into Pokemon cards and into trading cards is a big risk. It's all good now. We're all happy and living the life right now because we are in the middle of this historic, record-setting, money-making bull market. It feels like we can't lose. And I could have told you to buy almost any card in the last year and it would have went up in price. Anyone could have said anything and they would have been right. But that's not me being a smart or some savvy investor. That is the result of a crazy, exciting bull market. That is market euphoria. This is what happens in bull markets, especially in very crazy bull markets. Prices go up and sometimes they go up almost exponentially. But here's what you have to remember. That $300,000 first edition basic Charizard or that 30K Bulbasaur 
those numbers are very big news to us, and it's very big news to the Pokemon card hobby. But people in other established industries and other established asset classes, they will throw around millions or tens of millions of dollars like it's nothing. Like $300,000 to them is like a $50 shirt to us. They would say, oh, you made $300,000? That's cute. Good for you. And then they'll pat you on the head and they'll call you Timmy. And so before you go sinking all of your money into Pokemon, I just wanted to remind you of the realities. The reason people are making so much money and the returns are so ridiculously high is because your profits are correlated to the risk you take. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And it doesn't mean you don't put money here. It doesn't mean you don't put money into Pokemon. If you've done your research and you believe in it, then do what you believe, invest in what you believe in. The Amazons and the Netflixes and the Teslas and Pokemon, they all have to start somewhere. Someone had to believe in the vision when no one else did, when it was young and no one else believed in it. So if you genuinely believe Pokemon will continue to grow and to be profitable and mature as a hobby and a collectible, and dare I say, as an asset class, then of course make the decision that is right for you. But do it because you believe in it, not because me or anyone else tells you to. Because when the market turns, and it will, the market will turn. When the market turns, your belief will be tested. Just like after the Pokemon Go boom and the Pokemon Go crash. People were tested. Some people got burned. Some people made money. Some people lost money. So yes, Pokemon is hot right now. People are making a lot of money in Pokemon. Some people have legitimately become millionaires during this bull market. But just understand that the reason this is possible, the reason that people are making all this money is because it's risky. Pokemon is not guaranteed to be worth more in the future. Now, I believe it will be. The history and the numbers and the trends has shown some very positive signs. I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe that it would be worth more. But that does not guarantee that you will make money. The returns are high because the risk is high. But if you want to make big returns, sometimes you have to take a very big leap. Bigger risk, bigger reward. Like, subscribe, comment, check out the brand new Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel directly. I'm Kakashi with Kanto Capital. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.